everyone, Julie from Julieverse. And you know when you taste that summer drink and you know you've never tried it, but you're all of a sudden like, yes, this is going to be my drink this summer. Everywhere I go, this is the drink I'm going to order. I won't have to think about it. I won't have to be like, hmm, what do I want next? Like this is just the perfect amount of sweet and sour and refreshing that I'm gonna drink it all summer. So I'm going to share that drink with you and I was all set to share the drink and teach you how to make it. And then I opened up my cabinet today and noticed that um, we're out of all the ingredients just about. You see, my husband thought it was such a good idea to make this drink and um, enjoy it with me that he went ahead and he made it in bulk. This is the Lily, the Grey Goose Lily. The drink is the signature drink of the Oaks at the Churchill Downs. This is the day, the Friday, before the Kentucky Derby. And my husband and I went to the Kentucky Derby this year and we, um, we were so lucky. First of all, it was a beautiful day during the Oaks. And we were up in Millionaire's Row, which is like this big buffet and really, really, really nice and a gorgeous view of the, of the horses and of Kentucky and everyone in their hats and everyone was drinking these um, Kentucky Oaks Churchill Downs. This is the official cup of the Grey Goose Lily. And Grey Goose is the official sponsor. So it's a simple recipe. You need like four ingredients. You need Grey Goose vodka, which we're out of because my husband made this. You need um, triple sec, which we're out of. You need sweet and sour mix, which we might have somewhere. And you need um, cranberry juice, which we have an empty bottle of. So grab some cranberry juice. I, I actually found the bottle in the trash. Uh, here's how to make a lily. You take one ounce of Grey Goose vodka, and then you add one ounce of sweet and sour mix, three ounces of cranberry juice, and a splash of triple sec. Now, you know what a splash means. You add how much you think you're gonna need. And as with every drink, you're going to want to figure it out. You're gonna to wanna to like mix it around and see what works. Um, inside here, we put some, we always add, and actually not usually in here, usually in the glass, we'll put a slice of an orange. Um, in here, we have about a half an orange sliced because um, it's sitting and marinating that way. And we, when we serve it to our friends, we put in a slice of orange and a cherry um, which adds, the orange really did it. When we tried it without the orange, we're like, something's missing. And once the sweetness of the orange was in, it was perfected. So I'm going to enjoy my lily now. And you can go over to julieverse.com where you can find the recipe to create your own lily. And um, enjoy your summer and a Grey Goose lily. So I want to say thank you to Grey Goose. And thank you to my friends Kevin and Nancy for taking us over to the Oaks so that we could try this drink and make it our drink of the summer. Have a good day. Or actually, have a good night. Happy partying.